hi guys welcome to my channel at easy service where we make our survey practices to be easier in this video i'll quickly show you on how to do the datum transformation as well as coordinate conversion using global mapper okay so i am actually working on this plan and i want to confirm if this plan this job is well situated where it is supposed to be all right so how i'm just going to do that is just to copy the coordinate of one of the points okay one of the pillar and i'm going to do that by going to the command line then i'm going to type id then click on enter all right then i'm going to click on the pillar um node and when i'm done i'm just coming coming here and i'm um, going to copy the x and the y all right so when i copy i'm just going to paste that by clicking on ctrl v on my keyboard okay so when i'm done doing that i'm just going to change the color now okay then i want to convert these coordinates okay to the um target coordinates what i am interested on so i'll quickly explain from our basic understanding of geodesy all jobs we do in our local region should be on the local datum all right there are two types of datum there's the global datum and the local datums so in this region of um, nigeria okay we use the MENA datum which is the local datum all right so depending on where you are watching from you should have the, the basic understanding of the datum you are using in your own geographical region so in the course of this video we are working on the particular job done in nigeria and nigeria uses the mina datum so therefore this coordinate is on mina datum zone 31 so i want to convert this coordinate and transform it okay to wgs84 whereby i can chat it on google earth to confirm if this job is well situated all right i hope we understand that okay so i'm just going to use global mapper to convert these coordinates so i'm just going to open my global mapper then i will go to tools and go to coordinates okay converter all right so here on this coordinate converter you are going to select the origin datum or the origin reference system okay then you are going to select the the target datum or the target reference system you want to convert the coordinates to all right so i'm just going to show us on how to do that depending on your region like i said have the understanding of what system reference system your region is using so in nigeria we are using the utm okay some region or generally the universal travels mercator nigeria falls on that zone 31 32 and 33 so this job is actually done on the zone 31 northern hemisphere so in case your job is not done on zone 31 if it is zone 32 you have to choose the zone if it is zone 33 you choose the zone all right so i'm just going to choose this zone of where the job was done all right so i'm just going to click on zone 31 not an hemisphere okay if yours is not on the utm projection okay you have to scroll and look for it okay and choose that all right so the datum now like i said the origin datum is in a datum nigeria okay i'm just going to leave it at that all right then everything is going to fall in place okay then i'm just going to click on okay all right when you are done setting up the origin um, coordinate system you have to go and set up okay the target or the output coordinate system so what should tally is the zone okay the utm zone all right should tally with the origin but what is going to be different is the datum and I'm going to show you how to do that. So you are going to come here to click on select output coordinate system. Like I said, you define the projection system in GTM. All right, then the zone as well should tally with the origin zone, but the datum is gonna be different. 
okay and i'm going to click on that to see there are different datum so you should note the datum okay all right and i'm going to click on wgs 4 because i want to convert and transform from the minadatum to wgs 4 so i'm just going to click on okay so when i'm done doing this setup i'm now going to paste the coordinates of my job where i actually copied out here so i'm just going to click on that so i'm just going to copy the x values or the x data i'm going to right click copy when i copy i'll just go to my global mapper to paste it at the x instance right then i'm going to paste okay i'll do the same thing for the y okay copy i'm gonna paste okay when i paste i do because i've done it somewhere before so when you paste the coordinates of the eastings and the northern respectively then you click on convert to right when you click on convert to you can see conversion successful all right so when it's done you click on ok so this is the coordinate that has been converted and that has been transformed all right so when you are done i'm just going to confirm that okay on google earth so this is my google earth interface and this is the property here so therefore i'm just going to do one or two check for everyone to see so like i said this is the origin coordinate system i want to chart this up like i said so i'm just going to copy then go to add place mark okay so let me give this team name Koji. so this is the instance that i copied from autocad like i said this is the origin coordinates and um, i'm going to paste to copy the office and I am going to paste all right so I just want to show us how it will not fall like I said the AutoCAD job is done on MENA and our WGS uh, the, the Google Earth rather uses WGS 84 datum so I'm just going to plot the coordinates of the origin which is on MENA okay and as you can see look at where it falls alright so therefore I'm going to plot the converted coordinate this is the converted coordinate which is on WGS 84 datum same way I did for the origin on Google Earth, I'm just going to copy, go to add place mark, okay, and I'm going to give this one title as target. Okay, and I'm going to paste the converted or the transformed coordinates of the eastings and I'm going to do the same thing for the northings and I'm going to click on OK so as you can see this is the target where I converted and transformed to and this was the origin so you can see the difference and this is basically how to convert coordinates and transform datum using Luba mapper thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe to this channel as well as hit on the notification bell to keep getting information thank you see you next time